every one of them down. That's a full team kill. Yeah, what is that? that? Another! It's looking for a third. He's oh. gonna get it. Not the kill, and Vastek's gonna find it. Oh, he finds that drive. He finds two! Hey. He's still alive! Can he go in? Oh, oh my, my goodness. God! He's gonna go bar down and give Saints the lead again. Hello, Saints Nation, and welcome to today's broadcast. My name is Jackson the Pride Brown, joined alongside Daniel or Jobin here today. It's going to be a great game. We got your St. Clair Saints versus Carlton Ravens here. It's going to be a best of three, starting us off with our NECC season opener here today. How are you feeling about this one, Daniel? Super pumped to get into this. I say we missed the boys. NECC finally back in action. Went two and two in the preseason, so not too, too bad, and especially Valorant. A lot of champion and meta changes, so we'll see what kind of lineup the boys pull through today, and hopefully they can have some success against, we know, a really, really strong team. Yeah, Carlton is a very, very strong squad here for sure. Arguably one of the better ones in the NECC here. I definitely have them in my top three. They're definitely a school to watch out for. But, you know, it could be a little bit hard to start off them going against them in week one, but it is good to get one of these matches just out of the way almost, uh, kind of per to say. Good so, litmus test. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. It's a good, you know, way to start things off here and try to get some good experience under the belt as well. So, you know, we were talking a little bit about this one pregame. There's been lots of meta changes, lots of little map changes throughout these past few seasons. Like, I know, for example, Breeze, you have that map layout getting changed pretty much completely on yeah. both sites and then you even have more even more changes here on more of the maps so you want to talk a little bit about those and how you think they could affect the match that's what i said breeze and fracture definitely play different than every other map in the game this case fracture and breeze you're basically eliminating a lot of the the usual sobo lineups or a lot of the usual molly lineups because you just frankly especially with the way they play you have a lot of times there's a lot of split pushing now in those maps so you, like putting a sobo dart on one side of the map isn't going to nearly get you the intel that it would on somewhere like a binder haven exactly right so it's going to really change the heroes that we actually do see getting played the agents we you see getting played on uh, whatever map it may be. So we do actually have a little bit of a varying starting lineup here uh, going through for the day as well. That's going to change based on the map. And that is one thing that's really cool that's changed over from the last semester. Last semester, we typically saw the same starting five kind of just go through and do what they do. But this time we have people who are, you know, more specialist in certain agents yeah. and so we can actually see that effect here our roster pool for today and stuff like that so i believe we do actually have our map pool up here and we can actually take a peek at that here momentarily but yeah so here we are we're going to start off on a scent move over to Ooh. bind and a decider on a haven what's your opinion on that here daniel so as i said now this is the three maps that we have chosen i would expect to see a lot of a lot of site controllers and a lot of we see i think we're definitely going to see some sofas come out we're going to see a lot of the a lot of the dart lineups and say these are maps that not really too many long range engagements besides some of the spots and everything. It looks like we're about to get into map one here, which will be Ascent. Yeah, so let's talk about this Carlton starting lineup here. We got Meme Lorf, we got Moobs, we got Riv, we got Rubski, and we got Danny here is coming through from that Carlton lineup. They're going to be starting on the attacking side of Ancient, or sorry, Ascent, Ascent. here today. <laughs> oh man, it's the CSGO, man. Yeah. It's killing me, but the, the Ascent coming through here is going to be the map one, and yeah, it is going to be the attacking side starting being Carlton. So the Saints defense, I, I like that they are able to just start on defense here, uh, just for the pure fact that I think they're a little bit stronger of a team on defense. Yeah. Ascent a little bit more of a defense side of map so if they can get a good amount of rounds under their belt early on here it should really help them in the second half of this game and we're pretty much seeing it looks like a mirror match almost here so it's I, it'll be a lot of the times that we might see a lot of 1v1 duels of a lot of characters trying to use the same utility or trying to find the right lineup so this should be really really interesting to see yeah, it'll be interesting to see Looks here like for sure. Looks like we got sure. a Frenzy and a Ghost coming on for St. Clair. Nothing else doing, just some classic and some armor. No uh, no spicy Sheriff plays, unfortunately, in the first round today. So just uh, a little bit of a conservative pistol round. Just try to get an easy win, get the money up, and get some momentum rolling. Yeah, the util gets a very, very valuable here at this level of play, right? So you're going to want a lot of that early on, but it does look like a B stack for the side of Carlton to start us off here. It's going to be Wombat as our main line of defense. So he does have this chamber. So, I mean, Ooh. it's arguably a sheriff that he has. It, no, it hands, is. Right? So, yeah, it, it really <laughs> it's is. It's a $200 a sheriff. sheriff. Exactly, right? So it's it's very useful. Only two bullets. So he's only able to fire off a couple of those shots. But regardless, it should help. It is going to be a swarm onto the site as Moobs is going to be coming through Garage. And Wombat will be ready to take the Holding fight. Holding doesn't. Unable to land the shot Silverdar coming in tagging a couple wombat going down to me me picking up two st. Clair getting absolutely rolled off site here and 
Carlton looks like they should get the play, and St. Clair going to have to play a 2v5 retake, so not exactly uh, an easy start to the game for him. Yeah, it's going to be the Jet and the Sova trying to retake this one. Carlton just with a fantastic opening up of the round, uh, completely clearing the site and able to get back there and plant that bomb. So you do have Riv just outside of Garage. Danny is going to be poking out here a little bit. The Frenzy will not be able to find it there from Blossom, and that is going to be the side of Carlton taking round number one here of our best of three. Via flawless fashion, unfortunately, St. Clair just, when you, when you run in there and you get two or three you get two or three guys picked immediately man you're really crippling your team especially if you have an asteroid and a ko go down man you're losing a lot of like necessary utility that you're gonna need to play that retake because 2v5 on pistol with no util pretty much pack it in at that point yeah, we will see here now. So it does look like St. Clair wants to pull off on a little bit of a save. The only thing is really getting bought are potentially some utility. And then you do see that Shorty come through. A frenzy <laughs> on Casper. And just, you know, whatever they can to try to find some sort of a pick. And try to take down some of that Carlton economy and build some for yourself. But that being said, Wombat, well, once again, will have this Sheriff in hand to try to find a pick as well. But now we do see Carlton also with a split push rather than a full commit. Wombat, going to try to set up here. Looking for the pick. Trying to get a little bit of information. Going to teleport back just to make sure he's saved. Lupo playing a short corner shorty this is a tried and true strategy oh he's oh. gonna run into oh he hears him oh Wamp lupo not gonna want to peek that especially with a shorty there's no way a lot of utility coming through from carlton here lupo getting pushed pretty hard getting taken out on the double flash rib with the cleanup v can and danny trading out a couple picks carlton up two right now st Clair looking to hold on here carlton has a pretty good pretty good advantage here. still the astra and the ko up so a lot of util Casper getting caught off guard, checked the wrong door at the worst time. Rubski with the cleanup, and Carlton once again. This is looking uh, dire for St. Clair and Wombat's chamber. It's going to be Wombat here looking to make his way into heaven. Can he find anything? It is going oh. to be the KO from Riv taking him down. Carlton will now take a two-round advantage over your St. Clair Saints. Heading into round three, though, St. Clair will have money for a buy. So we do see the Vandals and the Phantoms coming through here now, and they are able to use utilize those to their full advantage. Where you do see this out of Carlton, they're not going to, you know, sell those, but they can't really sell the Spectres. They're not going to drop the Spectres to buy a Phantom or a Vandal right now. Just going to keep those oh under your God. belt and uh, try to use those in this round. So St. Clair will have a little bit of an upper hand weapon weaponry wise and utility wise here in this one so we'll see what they can do uh regardless carlton off to a great start yeah and st clair say with a heavy investment here st clair this is a round you, you pretty much have to win or you're gonna you're gonna have to concede the next couple pretty much carlton's gonna have a whole lot of money and a whole lot of confidence if you're not able to pull through with these rifles and get a couple kills yeah, we'll see what happens here right now. Buzz look like B is the main focus once again as we do see moves already in the site. However, V can will be there for the first blood in St. Clair's favor. Now a five on four, taking down that jet nice and early. Danny though will be getting aggressive, potentially finding Wombat, but Wombat swinging at just the right time. We'll find one. Casper gonna be flashing out of his smoke as Meme Lord will come in and will clean up Wombat. V can taking down Riv in the process though, now leaving it to a four on two, all up to the chamber and the Astra here from Carlton. The Astra still just stuck in back. Boathouse trying Trying to find whatever pick you can, but Lupo will take him down. Too strong of an angle. St. Clair, they, they knew exactly where Mimorph was. They knew he was running around in Boathouse spraying that Spectre. And St. Clair, Blossom, able to pick up the last kill. And St. Clair with a big round win to get back into this game. Yeah, honestly, very, very good stuff from them as well. Only losing the chamber in that fight will really help out their economy going into these next ones and not allowing Carlton to build too much of an economy themselves. However, this time around, we will see both teams with their full buys, which could get things a little bit more scrappy here. And this is honestly anyone's round to take. But exactly as you were saying previously, it was really important that St. Clair did win that round or else it, this could be, you know, a 3 4 nothing, 5 nothing scoreline in these next few. Regardless, hopping into round number four here, St. Clair looking to find another. Yeah, so we're going to see, see if one. Wombat wants to play a little bit again and look for peaks. He's been doing that the last couple times. Maybe a little different strategy this time. St. Clair stacking up near mid and A and leaving Chamber kind of alone to himself on B. Mimorph pushing in and looking to peak. Lupo trying to flank around with that knife. Trying to lurk through tree. Got to close the door behind him. St. Clair, not a whole lot of action yet. Carlton kind of just trying to see where they're at and trying to feel him out and try to get him to burn some utility, maybe fake him out or something, and then try to push in here. Yeah, so they are taking a little bit more mid control in this round. That's something that didn't do as much in the previous ones. Uh, so we could see a lot of pressure onto the St. Clair Astra. We will see that here momentarily. Jet and Chamber, and then we do have the Sova with the Bomb Carrier all up in mid there. Two players are also towards A main, so I think the pressure will be sent over towards A main here shortly. Maybe through that defender sided spawn and whatnot, but Raubski will find the first one taking down V-Can on the Astra. That's a huge kill. Taking out Astra early in the round like that just cripples your defenses, especially if you're, or if you're 
you're trying to play a retake offensively as well. It just, it's a huge detriment for you. St. Clair still got a lot of utility and a lot of time, though. They could easily bring this one back. Just gotta, oh. And Casper through the Astra Star. That is something you hate to see. Yeah, Wombat will be back here alone in Boho. So much work to his name, but that is going to be a third now on the board for Rubski here. And there's not a whole lot you can do if you're St. Clair. Now in the two on five. Honestly, I would love to see a save here. I would really, really love to see yeah. one. But it doesn't look like that's what they're deciding to do. It is going to be this player pushed out in mid. Blossom goes down and just... Why are we not saving? Lupo yeah. will find one and trading out Riv, but he's just going to run into moves, and that is where you have full armor, full rifles, full utility, and you should have your life at the end of the round. Yeah, I have to agree. Like, even, especially, you don't even have the jet ult yet, so it's not even like, hey, I can try to make a hero play with the blade storm. It's like, you're not, they're winning a 2v5 with spike down, and you're already at a disadvantage money and rifles wise. I just, I get wanting to get one of the picks and take one of the rifles out of the hands, but you also got to watch the economy at the same time, so I don't really love the push there. You save that round, you have a full buy this round. You don't have to sacrifice onto the scout you don't have to sacrifice onto a pistol and you will see you know three vandals and then a phantom or another vandal there as well so the save would have been very very beneficial not going to come through though it's going to result in a half by now coming in from st Clair. everybody's selling down to sheriffs and everything like that some light armor just to save enough money going into the next round which is really going to swing this round in carlton's favor which you can't really have if you're st Clair already being down 3-1 lupo gonna get aggressive here trying to find something but nothing early on yeah it looks like we're gonna see another uh Three of them pushing in garage. Asher going to be alone on A again just because she's able to control the site mostly on her own. Although, last time they seemed to be pushing Wombat a lot or Vcan a lot. So, I would have someone try to play either Heaven A or try to hold some cross angle. Because they keep letting Carlton almost just walk into site with two or three smokes. And you're going to, you have to take out at least one and you have to punish a push like that. If they're all going to run in there like that, you have to take out at least one and make and get yourself a team advantage going into the team fight. Now we will see here now. It's going to be some utility sent in early over towards A to try to scout out the location. Being that Sova drone in there. It's going to be Riv as the first player to enter. No immediate defense here for St. Clair. Walmack going to fall. That's going to be VK going down shortly after Casper as well. Lupo finally answering back with a nice little headshot there onto the scout. But it's going to be now all up to Blossom. They know where he is. He's going to get a couple of dinks onto that player. Now picking up a Sheriff. Trying oh. to get some more damage down. But Meme Lorp will be there for the cleanup. Only the Sova going down for Carlton. And St. Clair now trailing by three. Yeah, nothing doing there. And now the uh, the Cosmic Divide up for both sides. So we might see St. Clair. St. Clair could invest the Blade Storm in the Cosmic Divide here. I'd be curious to see. I think what they need to do, even if they play a full retake, I think they need to stop split pushing or having a split defense on the site. I would run at least three or four guys on one site because, like I said, they just walk, let them walk on again. Minimal utility, get on and get Spike and get a couple picks. And St. Clair's, when you're going into a 5v2 as the Spike's getting planted, you're just crippling yourself every single time. Yeah, we will see Lupo get it up through with the op here. And I love seeing Ooh. the op on the jet. He can just dash Ooh. away after firing off those shots. So it's really going to maybe prove to be a benefit here. And that actually is a decent bit of intel. Yeah, game from great Sinclair. dart. Yeah, Blossom actually going to be shooting that one off. And he's just going to be trying to follow it up with a shock or maybe to inflict some damage. That's going to be the drone already taken down from Casper. So honestly, St. Clair did a pretty good job of sending in their utility early to gain intel and destroying some of that Carlton utility, not really picking up too much information. So very, very good stuff from St. Clair to start us off. Can they follow it up with a round win or potentially a first opening pick into the round? We'll find out here Lupo in a moment. lurking this mid with an up. As soon as that Astra Star goes down, I expect Lupo to take a full peek here and try to pick one up. Maybe if the opportunity arises, Chamber holding his cross now too. Lupo smells him there. He knows he's right there. Just uh, no, doesn't have the information that he quite needs to look to the left there. So not a whole lot of action just yet. A site looking like it's going to be the one to get pushed once again by Carlton. I mean, you've gone four for four so far. Why not go for a fifth? St. Clair going to have to really buckle down here because I say Carlton's starting to collapse here and, and Chambers is holding that long angle across the map in case anyone rotates mid. But Carlton's starting to flood the site here. And it looks like they might get the spike down. And there's a trade out. Lupo getting one with the off. Riv going down. Ooh. Lupo with another one. Danny going down as well. Lupo holding heaven. Memorph getting the plant down. Though St. Clair has the numbers advantage, even though KO is extremely low. So we'll see if they're able to play a retake here and get this defused. Yeah, four on three here. They're going to try to collapse on the site. And AWP is very, very good for fighting picks, but it's not that great a retaking yeah. site. So it's going to be a Huge. big one from Blossom, though. Taking down that player over towards three should help open up the site. Lupo going to try to pull up the knives, I think that's what it was. Casper, though, going to be able to get the trade out. Now moves last alive. Going to be back here. Will spot out oh. Casper, though. And that's going to leave it all up to Wombat here. Pros don't fake. Oh, oh I'm bad. Player out moved. Will oh. have to peek for it, but now this is going to... Bladestorm online. Let's see if Moobs can get it. And we'll see here in a moment. Gets that the hit, dashes away, and it looks like the time... Oh, it'll be very close. We'll have to come and peek this again. And there it is. Wombat, not enough time, not enough utility moves. At least they got the blade storm burn there, but if I'm Carlton and I'm this at it, like I'm at this huge of an advantage, I can't really blame them for doing it. Yeah, you can't really blame them at all, right? So 
Carlton here now going to be a 5-1 to one advantage here over St. Clair. Four rounds separating these two teams. It's going to be another one of those save rounds here for St. Clair. Forced to come through with, uh, looks like, three couple shares. of shares. Yeah, three amigos. Yeah, yeah, three of those. A shorty. You got a pistol as well. And, I mean, honestly... It's not going to be able to do a whole lot against this Carlton rifle buy. You can see what it can. You know, you're really looking for those sheriff headshots and whatnot. But regardless, at a minimum, you're just looking for maybe two, three picks to help your economy and shut down some of theirs. Yeah, ideally, take two or three of the rifles away. If you can pick them up and end up saving them and save yourself 3k next shot, and that's ideal. But yeah, you definitely got to take a few of the rifles out. Blossom not going to get it done. Danny picking up the first, almost a free kill pretty much. Carlton going to have 5v4 advantage to start the round and looking to push in here. Lupo playing another short corner with the shorty. And I mean, your options are fairly limited when the, you've gotten your eco dog as much. Rubski picking up VCAN. Wombat, that chamber all taking out his counterpart Rubski. 4v3 right now for Carlton. St. Clair has Bladestorm and Chamber Alt online. Bladestorm, Lupo picking up one. 3v2 here. St. Clair going to have to figure something out. Casper goes down and it is looking extremely dire for Wombat now. Yeah, Wombat is going to be potentially able to find one more pick. He does know one player is on stairs. I don't think he knows that that oh. player is beside him, but it doesn't matter. Riv will come through with the knife and will get the cleanup onto Wombat. That's going to be another one in Carlton's favor, 6-1. to one. And this is really just, you know, proving the point that we were talking about earlier, yeah. how strong of a team Carlton is and how they deserve to be one of those top three teams in the NECC. So... Coming here now, it's going to be a timeout looking to come in from Strider, the coach over at St. Clair. Something that was very much needed here, and uh, just something to slow down the play and kind of just talk things over. Yeah. So as I say, if I'm St. Clair, this is... Oh. If I'm St. Clair, this is the perfect time timeout. You have basically every single uh, uh, thing you've tried so far. You tried to get at them early with utility, didn't work. You let them walk onto site, didn't work. You tried to get early picks, didn't work. So at this point, you just have to reassess. You have to refocus, not let the game get out of hand. Because right now, this is a huge part in the game. St. Clair loses the next two, three rounds here. This could easily be a 13 to 1 or 13 to 2. Yeah, right. I mean, that's the big thing. If you end off this, uh, this is the biggest round. They have yeah. the buy, right? They have the op, they have the four rifles. If they drop this one, they're probably going to have to come through onto another save or something in that regard. Not going to work out too, too nicely there for them. And it's now going to be uh, a scoreline flipped on its head, like you were saying. Yeah. So St. Clair really needing to find this round. Personally, I'm going to agree with you. I don't think the Saints are going to be able to maybe find this game if they don't win this round. There's so much pressure on it. And that's hence why Strider's calling the yeah. timeout. It's <laughs> the perfect time. you got to slow things down. you got to figure out a strat. So we're going to go into this one here, right here, right now, carrying things on with round number eight. Saints gonna say we've got a couple ultimates that could be online. We got KO, Silva, and Astra for the side of St. Clair. I would fully expect to see at least one of them use this time. Because like I said, they, this is the, you have to have it. See, even Lupo coming through with the op. This is around St. Clair knows they have to have this round. They have, they're investing everything they have. They have to come away with this round. Yeah, it's gonna be Wombat here looking to play for oh. Wombat. Casper gonna lose his life early on to Rubski on that chamber off, but Lupo gonna contest. That's a great Trade. Jet V Jet Dash. That's gonna be Lupo finding moves. Now a four on four, and this is exactly why Jets should be the Oppers. Because they can go in there, take that shot, and completely get themselves out of the gunfight while that gun is reloading. So very, very good stuff there from Wombat, I believe that was, or was a Lupo. <laughs> yeah, and we, yeah, so we still have Chamber with his ultimate on the other side of Carlton. So St. Clair can't exactly just take free long because even with the op, because that chamber ult is absolutely no joke, and you do not want to get caught in the crossfire. They also have Hunter's Fury and the Cosmic Divide if they decide to use it as well. Riv trying to flash onto site here and get Carlton a little push onto site the exact same way they have before. St. Clair playing retake on the backside of A. Gonna have to figure something out. The plant will go down. Hunter's Fury coming online, picking up, oh, not picking up him, but getting a little bit of information. Couple of trades going on. Meme gonna try to plant down again. It looks like he will get it this time, and St. Clara once again will have to play retake. Yeah, it's gonna be a three on three retake this time though. So something that could work out a little bit better in their favor. Lupo though, once again on the op. Like we were saying, it's very good for these entries, but not good for the retake. Ooh. And that's two big Sova darts hitting him. He's gonna be at 66 HP. Gonna updraft over on, but Danny gonna find two. Uh, and the three. third will take down Lupo. Nobody watching a main there for the swing. And it's gonna be Carlton with round number seven. St. Clair not with a whole lot of money in the bank. You should be seeing another sheriff buy. And this is what we are talking about. St. Clair loses that round. They're economy goes down drastically, forcing them to buy like this. When you look at four sheriffs and a Spectre versus, what was that, four rifles and an yeah. AWP, it, it's very, With very full hard. armor. Yeah, and it's very, very hard to have confidence in that round, knowing that. So, we'll see what they can do. I mean, last eco, they did get a couple of picks, and yeah. they were able to get close to turning things around. And let's see if they can do it right here, right now, in round number nine. If I'm sick, I say now they only have the KO ult to burn and, and say they have the KO and still they have the Cosmic Divide on the side of Carlton. So they definitely have the utility advantage. St. Clair, they're going to have to get picks. Like the end of the story, they're going to have to get a pick or two because they're just getting beaten gunfights early on. And when you get beat early on and lose utility, like that's it for the round. 
Wombat can have a lot of intel over here towards a main. Has a lot of players over here towards him. That's going to be some big oh. flash from Casper. Will find one for himself. V can finding one as well. Rubski and Moobs trading it out. But when you're on a pistol round, you'll take two for two trades all day of the week. So that is going to be now a three on three here. I don't think any rifles were a treat from St. Clair. But Blossom's in a great position to try to find Rubski here momentarily. The headshot could be there. Some shots going to go through. Big dart. But no, it's going to be Rubski timing. on the swing there. Three on two here. Casper, though, with the trade out. That's going to be now a two on two. The spike is going to be down as well on this A-bomb site, but it's going to be quickly picked up from the Sova and ran all the way over to B to meet with that chamber, and it's going to be St. Clair now forced to rotate over. Yeah, this is a much more manageable retake. I would say, I would assume Sova, Chamber's going to hold that middle. I would assume Carlton will most likely get the bomb down here. And if I'm St. Clair, we finally have a fair fight. We can, we can retake 2v2, pretty equal utility. They finally have a chance, but they just have to play smart and they have to swing together. They have to hold each other's angles here. They can't just run in there one by one and give themselves up. Yeah, well, they know the bomb is gone and down on B here. Now, and both players are looking to potentially push through garage, but Rubski is going to be a threat. They don't Ooh. know he's on that first corner. Now they know exactly where he is, but Danny will be there for the support, and that is really going to help out the side of Carlton once again with round number eight for themselves. St. Clair once again will have money for themselves to get a buy, but at this point in time, I mean, best case scenario, it's a four to eight half, and you are already on the favored side. Yeah, and that's what I said in St. Clair there. That was one of the rounds you had to have, but kudos to Rubski. He had a really good trigger discipline there. Saw, saw Kayo walk through the door, decided, nah, I know there's two there. I'm going to wait. Swings, pops one, gets his teammate to cover the other one. Easy two kills. Carlton plays that perfectly. St. Clair just left, honestly, just scrounging for answers. It's just not a whole lot going on. Say the buys have been inconsistent. The picks haven't been there. The utility's been kind of off. Just they got to figure out something. Yeah, exactly here. So you do have a KO alt and a full buy for St. Clair. So trying to turn things around once again. Lupo will get spotted out early from the drone and he'll be forced to fall off his position a little bit. But Danny also going to get Sova darted, I do believe. So some intel back and forth for both sides. Wombat going to be way over on this A main site. Going to try to get some damage before Chamber TPing out. And now we'll be up there on heaven looking for even more. But Rubski already going for the contest. And this is going to be two players getting sight for free. That is one thing that if you're St. Clair, you have to contest that a little bit. As I said, you can't, you can't just let them walk on. Whether they get the bomb down or not, just letting them get sight control like that and push up almost all the way to heaven. Like, you have to hold at least that middle box. You have to draw the line in the sand and say, you will not cross here. We will not let you plant here for free. And St. Clair just hasn't done that yet. Yeah, so I'm not sure if they could have taken up that KO, and no, it is going to be Riv able Ooh. to get the cleanup there. So it is going to put us into a three-on-two in favor of Carlton. Bomb is down, so St. Clair is forced to retake. Going to be all up to Wombat and the Sova here from the Saints. And you have Rubski way up deep there in tree. You have the KO in a main. It's going to be very difficult to work with, especially with that Astra in hell. I mean, it's not going to be easy. They spot the chamber. This will be a big pick for Blossom. Yeah. The time is ticking, and that is going to be Rubski finding the first. Yes, Wombat will be able to at least get one. He's going to be searching for this player in hell as well. But Ooh. that's a nice little Sheriff headshot. No time for the defuse, though. And it is now just going to be looking for kills. And it doesn't look like he'll find anything, unfortunately. Rupski, that tree spot with Chamber has been so viable because, let's say, literally being able to see through the two doorways 30 plus feet away and get exact vision on the spike without be, with literally being in zero danger. Like, Chamber playing there is completely safe, especially when the door is closed. So yep. pretty much Wombat is isolated from his teammate. Chamber knows where he is. He has all the he has all the area of the map to back up and be safe that he wants. And St. Clair, like I said, once again, just not, they're not pushing together. They don't seem to be, like, flowing, co like, cohesively. I don't, just, everything seems kind of disoriented and jagged. So one thing that also is really big having the chamber in the tree spot is that he can just set up a TP on site and he can get right back onto site if need be because I know you, like you were saying you can play very very deep in the tree and it sometimes can get hard to you know make your way back onto site but regardless if he has that TP set up there it's going to work out for him some big wall bank shots are going to come through there from Rupski but nothing actually going to connect and it's going to leave ourselves still on a 5 on 5 but St. Clair does have a lot of early intel onto this B site we'll see what happens here momentarily Wombat going to be holding garage here with this off but Astra start off so Regardless, St. Clair playing this one a little bit slower. I do like to see it, and it does look like, actually, Carlton going to be moving off of B. Moves 5 HP, trying to find something here in this garage. Not looking too good on the health here, but he looks like he's more of a distraction at this point. Able to hold two of the Saints while, once again, Carlton holding mid and pushing eight out. It's fully expect to see if Jet's able to get a pick here. Carlton, and, or uh, Chamber and Silver run towards A, and there moves with 5 HP. Gets traded up by Wombat's Chamber ult. Still not a great trade. He only had 5 HP and still able to get a kill. Not what you wanted to see for St. Clair. Riv picking one up. And once again, Carlton pretty much an uncontested site at this point. Picking up a couple more kills. St. Clair left looking for any answers and unfortunately 
unfortunately, it doesn't look like they'll have anything yet. Wombat, however, on the chamber while picking up Danny. Clean headshot, now giving him, giving him the chance they need. It's still got the ulti up, but it's going to be a tough go for St. Clair from here on out. Getting sprayed oh through gosh. hell, Meme ex knew exactly where he was. Wombat, nothing he could do about it. 3v1, one for St. Clair, not looking great. Yeah, just save your, honestly. Like, yeah. I, I don't know why you are going to try to yeah, challenge yeah. this. Blossom, please. It's a uh, really oh, hurts, awesome. but it's going to be Meme Lord fighting two there, down through underneath heaven, underneath heaven, and it's now going to be a 10 to 1 scoreline difference here between Carlton and St. Clair. Last round of half, everybody should be spending all of their money yeah. using any kind of ults they have, and one thing that's really scary is when I say using any ults you have, Chamber has theirs, Jet has theirs, Sova has theirs. Carlton's ult setup is perfect right now. They can literally plant it, Sova can go to the other side of the map and just pop Result, whatever need be. Yeah, they have all the information, all the damage, all the utility they could ever ask for, and you know they are sky high with confidence right now. Yeah, exactly. After the, the performance they put on so far, everything they've done has worked, and damn near flawlessly. Yeah, exactly. So we'll see what happens here. Both teams gonna have buys. St. Clair is just looking for a second round here, honestly, to just try to get something on the board, even if it doesn't help with the game win. Oh. Just something to help with their confidence. But oh. Wolfsky gonna get the shoulder of Luke. That was actually a wall bang. It did just goes barely through the wall there. Now, honestly, it's going to be Blossom trying to get a good dart Ooh. off. It will actually make connection, so that chamber does get tagged down at least for St. Clair. Regardless, though, you're down a player early on. That is not what you like to see. I'll tell you what, when Chamber asks if you want to play, there is nothing scarier you can hear in a game of Valorant, honestly. Yeah. You just know that, hey, if we peak long, this guy's going to be in trouble. But hey, you see him. He peaked short through a wall in Garage and was able to still pick up a kill. Just such a strong ultimate. Just played the angle perfectly in St. Clair. Once again, let's play 4v5. The Bladestorm is online for moves. So I have to worry about that as well in Tree. Vcan looks like he sized him up. Maybe he knows he's there, but not going to push yet. Oh, saw him. Able to get a tap there. Take off Jet's half of Moob's health. That's huge. Try to get the Blade Storm offline ASAP. Yeah, that was a very, very big shot there. It was just one headshot right through the wall. It's going to inflict so much damage there onto that player. And yes, you are still down a player, but it is nice to have that chamber and the jet both tagged down a little bit, making them a little bit weaker here, a little bit more peppery to kill yeah. out. And it's going to be Casper getting knifed the once back in the back line. So Casper going to take a lot of, little bit of damage here. Blossom going to take down moves. However, we do have Riv trading that one out immediately. Three on four. This is the Sova ult that we were talking about. Hunter just Fury picks so up v much of a threat. Oh, and unfortunately, Carlton with this, this, the double ultimate, the Hunter's Fury and the big sniper coming online. St. Clair, unfortunately, not able to find any answers. Wombat, gonna, gonna look at the Jet Heart, try to up his spirits a little bit because this game has been nothing to smile about so far for St. Clair. Yeah, it's gonna be Wombat here looking for the opponent across the Astro Star. Will take down Meme Morph here now, putting it to a one on three. I mean, it's still a lot of work to do, but a little bit better. Oh, we'll actually connect on those yeah, shots a on bit. a Riv. So some damage has been dealt, but Danny will be there for the cleanup. That will be halftime. Carlton going to be leading 11 to one here so far through the beginning of this game. Switching you're saying, Clara, uh, all you can pray is that you uh, figure this out. You let's say you have to win pistol because pretty much you're playing with, you, you have to do everything you can right now. Because yeah. right now, nothing is working. Carlton has Pistol's just, a must. Yeah, Carlton has just pushed site repeatedly and done what they wanted to. St. Clair, they either have to change a strategy, or like I said, I think maybe they should try. Just put five people on one site and say, screw it, five-man retake at this point, because nothing else has worked, so why not go for it? Yeah, it, it's really, really hard for St. Clair here right now, because they have to win, like, what is it, like 93% of their rounds yeah. <laughs> here to try to actually uh, try to win this one. They can literally only lose one round, or else this is game. So you have a lot to think about. You will see a Sheriff potentially coming through from Casper. No, he is going to swap off that one just get some utility on the KO a little bit more valuable there in this round but regardless it does look like St. Clair is going to be focusing out this A site and honestly Carlton has a lot of pressure towards mid which could hurt St. Clair because it allows these three players to rotate to whatever site yep. they need to be say look we've got a lot through mid right now Carlton trying to figure out what they uh, what St. Clair is trying to do St. Clair looks like they maybe if St. Clair really hard pushed A or no they might be able to get through the Astro Smokes and set up there Riv unfortunately picking up Lupo and St. Clair once again not how you want it to start a, a like a dire round, like the game on the line, essentially. Yeah, so it is going to be ourselves in a four on four as Casper does straight things out, but Meemore quickly shutting that play down. Moob's going to find one as well on the Blossom, leaving it all up to the Astra and the Chamber here from St. Clair. Wombat following, though, and that is Vcan going down here shortly after. That's going to be a 12 to 1 score line, and St. Clair just backs against the wall, forced to win 11 rounds in a row. What can you do in this case scenario? Uh, pull out the Marshall and try to trick shot to get some clips because this game is looking like it is in the bag. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah. it's a uh, it's tough. To five to judges. Sorry to interrupt you, but five judges coming out on the side of Carlton. 
Oh my god, no, not like this, Carlton. I casted too much Trolley Valorant yesterday. I'm coming through, doing it again here today. It seems to be a storyline of my life. But it is going to be two scouts coming through from St. Clair. You have a Spectre as well, a Sheriff, a couple pistols, so... Uh, regardless, this is just going to be a mess with the judges, and that's oh, going to be a big shot yes. connecting early on before he falls off. That's going to be one that already tagged down to like 30 HP. You have Danny ready in this angle as well, ready to swing. And uh, honestly, if he swings right now, he'd have a pretty good line of sight on the chamber, but A should be okay. It's going to be one that all the way around. Oh my god, he hasn't checked behind him yet. Oh, easy as can get for Danny. The short corner judge strikes again just too powerful. St. Clair, if you see five judges come out, I'm, I'm socially distancing from all the enemy team of Carlton. Like, I'm not fighting you from any closer than 50 feet at least. Yes, yeah, so you do see this Sova just trying to Beto <laughs> chop oh. from Vcan. Vcan will finally <laughs> take the head off of Danny there in that one. And it is going to be now all up to the Astar and the Sova of St. Clair. Blossom here joined alongside Vcan to try to find something to work out. It is going to be a scout on both of them actually here, yeah. so well, it's literally short range weapons versus long range weapons right now. <laughs> Who's this gonna definitely win favors Carlton. The way so Saint Clair has to push and get bombed. This for sure favors Carlton. <laughs> the and timing, unfortunate timing on the dart. Yeah, it's gonna leave Vcan all alone. He does run Ooh. into the Astro. That's a very big shot to hit, but the Sheriff play from behind Defenders will get the cleanup. That is gonna be Carlton taking the game in 13 to 1 fashion. So, uh, honestly, we kind of anticipated that Carlton was gonna come through and uh, kind of come in with a win, but I wasn't really anticipating it to be as dominant as it was here on Ascent. Carlton coming through and just being so ready here out of the gate. Yeah, and like I said, it's not, sometimes it's not like how like the way St. Clair was losing too, that's got to be the most frustrating part because they went from, hey, we let them retake site. Okay, maybe we got to change our strategy. Okay, they're entry fragging us. They're getting a couple picks. Okay, let's change our strategy. Okay, let's try to play a full retake. Nah, we still keep dying. And then a couple of times it's like, why not just save? Because we saw in the one round, uh, we see, I think Wombat gets shot through hell. Like, dude, just like blind fire through the wall. And then somebody else goes and immediately dies the exact same way. 30 seconds later, it's yep. like, it's a 1v4. You don't need to give up a rifle to a dude who's already been pre-firing that exact spot for two minutes. It's just a couple of the plays. I think that just shows you St. Clair just kind of didn't know what to do. And they started playing really out of their game. Yeah, I mean, it, it really did come down to, I think when you go down like 5-1, one, 6-1 one early on, it really hurt the St. Clair roster's mental, and it kind of just really kind of got all the strats they took from scrims and kind of tried to throw them here out of the window. So, I mean, regardless, a good win from Carlton. They started off with a 13-1, a very, very dominant one. I'm not 100% who our map 2 is. Again, I completely forget it. Uh, it was just on my screen. I believe Bind or Haven, one of the two. We'll have to see when we get out. But it'll be Bind coming up next. So, see, might see some similar compositions coming out. I think a lot of... Probably some Astra, some Sova. Again, it'll be some easy lineups and easy enough to control the site. So I guess we'll see what kind of lineups we get in game two. Hopefully a different scoreline. Yeah, hopefully a different <laughs> scoreline for sure. You might see a little bit of a different roster change come in as well. So we'll talk about that coming in after this short break in just a few minutes. My name is Jackson Fred Brown. Join joined alongside Daniel Jobin, and we'll be right back with you guys in just a few minutes.